In this video, I'm going to go over some creatures that I want to see added to Ark Survival Ascended. Now, I did this video a few months ago, but it, it, they did actually end up adding a bunch of the creatures from that video because a lot of them were Ark Edition's creatures, and now they're all getting added, so I thought I would update it, and I have a bunch more creatures that I wanted to add to it anyway, so I'm going to update it and include some from that video as well. The first creature I have on the list is the Sucho Mimus. It's kind of like a Baryonyx, except for it's a lot bigger, and I think it would be a really cool addition. Probably the one theropod I want them to add the most out of all the ones that aren't in the game, even though we do have a lot of them. There's a reason why people say they don't want more, but honestly, I don't really care. I would take more. I'm not complaining at all, and I think this would be a really cool addition of a new theropod to add. Cause it's just a kind of unique one it's not like i mean it's kind of like the baryonyx but it is different it's bigger and it looks a lot different i think this one would be a cool addition and then after that we have the gorgonops this one has been in tons of creature votes it's probably been in like almost every one to be honest and it's a pretty cool creature overall i could be like pretty large i imagine around the same size as maybe like a dire wolf or saber tooth maybe they would make it even bigger i don't really know how big they would make it i think it would be around that size though and then i don't know i think it could be a really fun one to mess around with and an interesting thing about this creature is they were actually planning on adding it at one point. This artwork I have on the screen was actually the like, official artwork that they had for it. And they were planning on adding it. And this would have been in like the dossier and stuff. So kind of wish we would have saw it. But maybe they'll add it one day with one of these creature votes or something. Because I know it ends up being in there a lot. We'll have to see. After that we have the Stigimaloc. It's kind of like the Patchy. But I like having some variation. I know some people don't like adding creatures that are similar to ones that are already in the game. But I do like it because it adds more variety to the creatures instead of just having one type of creature and then moving on. Like say for the trike, just having the trike and then that's it. I like having more types of one to kind of find and look around. I think the Stigimaloc is really cool. Obviously it's pretty popular. It's in the Jurassic World movies as well. And I think a lot of people know about this one. So I think it'd be a cool addition as well. We also did get a skin for it in the game with the Arcology event, which was really controversial because they kind of hyped it up as they were adding these actual creatures. And I still wish we would have got this creature in the game. But after that, we have the Hatsagoptrix. This is probably the one I want them to add most to the game because it's a really dope creature. It's very similar to the Quetzal, but it also is kind of different at the same time. And the abilities I've seen proposed for it, like on screen here, I have what was the extinction vote for it. And it's been in a lot of creature votes, and I believe it even got second in one of them. And it's been pretty close, so it might actually get added with a future creature vote. I really hope it does because I think it's a pretty dope creature. And I was talking to my friend Kraken, and he had a very interesting suggestion for this thing that I actually liked a lot. And it's kind of similar to that prehistoric planet documentary. I didn't really watch the whole thing, but I did see this clip, and it was basically like where they were like hunting like all these like smaller dinosaurs. And it kind of suggested that it would like basically land around, and then it would go and like follow you, maybe even like hunt you down. And this thing would be terrifying to see it hunting down. I thought that was a really cool idea, and something that would make me want this creature even more. Basically, have it like land to be aggressive and actually like try and hunt you down would be really sick. After that, I have the Shantan Gosaurus. This is one I've always wanted in the game because I just thought it's really cool. As you can see, it's like the size of a Rex here, and it's a herbivore. And there's not really any other creatures like that. At least, like that's not a sauropod. Usually, they don't get that big, and that's what I find so interesting about it. What I think would make a really cool addition to the game. Maybe you could have these things run around in some herds, or have a bunch of them roaming around, and just have like a massive herbivore that could even be pretty strong. I don't know what they would do with it, but I think it'd make a really cool, like entrance to the game. But after that, we have the Leviathan. I'm not for sure, but this was a really dope animal as well. It's basically like an underwater whale, like a killer whale almost. And this one's actually in like Gruga's like sponsored mod things. And so he might actually end up making it in the Ark Editions in the future, but it'll probably be a while. But this one would be amazing. I think it's a really cool concept and having a gigantic like killer whale type thing isn't something we have in Ark and I think it would be awesome to see. And after that, I have the Mominchi Saurus. I've talked a lot in a lot of my recent videos about the sauropods and how there's only like three in the base game. And then there's the Amargosaurus in the Lost Island DLC, but there's not really that many sauropods. So I think adding some new ones would be cool. And one of my suggestions is this creature right here, because it is just a really interesting one as it has an insanely long neck and is really high up as well. And really big, could be a really cool sauropod to the game. And if they give it some cool abilities as well, I think could be quite interesting to see. This next creature is one that I want them to add quite a bit. It's probably at the top of my list, and it's the Dino Kyrus. This one is a really dope one, as it's such a unique looking creature, as well as it's like the size of a Rex. It's absolutely massive and looks super unique. 
Also, Grug is working on this for the Arcaditions mod, and he's actually posted footage in his Discord server. I'll have a link to that as well if you want to see more information on that kind of stuff, and where I got this footage, of course, but... So this one might actually be coming to Arc Editions, which is going to be pretty dope to see that, but I do want to see this one in the base game because I think it is super unique and would be a really cool addition to the game and I think it would fit in quite well as well. Number 9, I have the Pentaceratops or the Titanoceratops. I don't think these things are exactly the same thing, but at the same time they kind of are. I know the Titanoceratops is a little bit bigger, so I probably want that one to be added. And this is another one that's a sponsorable mod on Grugu's Discord as well, but this one's just a really cool one. I would like more variations of the Ceranopsids or creatures like the Trike, because we only really have one, I think, which is the Patchy Rhinoceros. And this would be a cool one because it's absolutely massive in the shape of the top of its head there is a lot different and a lot taller as well and i believe it's like one of the biggest ceratopsids so i think it'd be a cool addition and number 10 i have the civitherium this is a really unique creature it's kind of like a giraffe but with like horns or antlers on it and this one's also appeared in the creature votes quite a lot there could be some cool abilities with this one i'm not entirely sure what it could do i know in some of the votes they mentioned like having a catapult saddle and then in like in the mod it has thermal vision the mod i'm showing off right now which is another pretty cool addition. I'm not really sure what abilities it have, but I think it's really unique and really cool and definitely fit in the game. After that, I have the Alamosaurus. This one is another sauropod, but this one's actually pretty unique as of all the pictures I've seen of it, it's got like these spikes going down its like neck or whatever. And it looks like really cool as well. I think it's a really unique sauropod and it would definitely make a good addition because like I was saying, there's not too many sauropods in the game. So adding a new one, especially this one being so unique, I think would fit really well in the game and then after that i have the tylosaurus an underwater creature and a really cool one i like that it kind of looks like a mosasaur but at the same time it's really unique and none of the creatures have this kind of like shape other than like i said the mosasaur which is kind of similar there's also a mod of this out right now the tylosaurus mod and it's one of the most well done mods in arc ascended right now in my opinion so this one actually is a really cool one you could kind of see what it's like in that mod but of course, there is a lot of underwater creatures you could add, but I think the Tylosaurus is a really cool one. It would definitely fit in Ark really well, and would kind of, I don't know, maybe could have some really cool abilities to make it stand out from some of the other underwater creatures, but I think this is definitely a cool addition. And the next creature I have is the Apatosaurus, another sauropod. This one is a really iconic one, and I think would be a good addition to a game, especially getting a lot of these iconic dinosaurs in the game. And it's a sauropod, it's kind of similar in size to like the Diplodocus, except for the Diplodocus doesn't do damage. So having a sauropod in that size range that could actually do damage and maybe even have a use, I think would be cool. And is the argument I'm going to try and make for it in this video, because the Diplodocus doesn't really have much use. Maybe the Apatosaurus could be actually like deal damage, have some cool ability and be that kind of like mid-size or smaller theropod that has maybe like some really cool uses. That is my list of creatures. The ones I want the most are probably the Dinochirus or the Hatsigoptrix or maybe even the Shandangosaurus. Those ones are all pretty dope. And if you couldn't tell, a lot of the footage from this video is from Jurassic World Evolution 2 as I've been playing that game a lot recently. But also a lot of the creatures I mentioned were from that game so I thought I'd just use the footage instead of just using pictures. I thought it'd make it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, make sure to comment which creatures you want added to the game. But thanks for watching and bye.